Kodak Company is happy to bring you America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. They enjoy happy times together. And like most of us, they know that good times are picture times. And now, here's Harriet with a special idea for this weekend. This weekend, why don't you take some color snapshots of your family? Everyone likes pictures in color, and everyone looks his best in color pictures. And best of all, you don't need a special camera to take them. All you do is put Coda Color Film in your present camera. It comes in all the popular sizes, and the pictures you get are just beautiful. Clear and sharp and beautiful colors. Aren't they nice? Coda Color Film can make this weekend's pictures the best you've ever taken. Well, why not make a note right now before you forget? Get two rolls of Coda Color Film to make sure you'll have enough. And now Kodak invites you to enjoy... The Adventures of Ozzy and Harry. Well, you can come up if you want to, but I'll be right down. Oh, well, then if you will, I won't. <laughs> you make yourself comfortable. How comfortable? How long are you going to be? I'm all ready. Oh, Harriet, I love your new suit. Oh, thanks. But it isn't new. It isn't. Honestly, Harriet, I don't know how you do it. Do what? Keep all your old things looking like new. All my old things look like old things. <laughs> Except this. This is new. Yeah, I thought so. It's very smart. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I have to leave a note for Ozzy. Why, for heaven's sake? Well, in case I'm not home in time to get his dinner for him. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I didn't leave one for Joe. Well, how will he know? Well, it's simple. If I'm home, you'll know I'm home. If I'm not home, you'll know I'm not home. <laughs> we'll figure it out sooner or later. Well, if I'm going to be late, I'll phone him. You know, I'm kind of sorry I got mixed up in this election thing. Seems to me we've been at that women's club day and night for the past week. I'm beginning to feel guilty about letting Ozzy eat out so much. Why? Well, he's liable to get to like the idea. Oh, gee, I never thought of that. Do you suppose Joe's beginning to like the idea? I wouldn't be surprised. Every man likes a little freedom. Oh, well, I don't mind giving him a little freedom as long as I know where he is all the time. <laughs> well, you know where he is now. No, he hasn't reported in for the last hour. <laughs> but you know where he is. He's working. Oh, yes, of course. He gives me his paycheck every week. Harriet. Huh? Do you think a man like Joe would stoop to forgery? <laughs> Come on, Clara, we'll be late. Hey, don't turn on the television set. I'm trying to study. Well, there's a program I want you to see. What's that for? Just watch the screen. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know this young man? Hey, that's a picture of me. We're trying desperately to locate him to inform him that he is the winner of $60 million in the Tasmanian sweepstakes. What the heck is that? Well, congratulations, David. You're rich. If David Nelson doesn't claim this money within the next three minutes, it will go to his brother, Ricky. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, Joe? Joe, what is this anyway? Television. Come on, I'll show you. You mean you built this thing all by yourself? Well, the man at the radio store helped me, but I put it together. Uh, how's it work? You know how a radio works? Well, yeah, sort of. Well, this works the same way, except it's a picture. Here, it tells about it in this book. You mean you're going to actually broadcast a television program with this thing? Well, yeah. Well, it's like a closed circuit. You have to have it connected directly to the television set. We have this one connected to your set upstairs. Well, where's the sound come from? Well, from that microphone. Yeah, here it is, right here. Ricky got this picture of you out of the album, and I held it up in front of the camera. We've got a whole show cooked up. We're going to surprise Pop. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Hey, wait a minute. Pop just came in the front door. Are you sure that's your father? Yeah. Have you ever heard my mom tell me not to slam the door? Yeah. Well, I inherited that from Pop. <laughs> hi, Pop. Oh, hi, Dave. Uh, where's your mother? Uh, she's down at the women's club. Gee, so late again? Well, they're having their annual elections this week. Uh, do you mind if I watch television? No, go ahead. I'm just browsing through the paper here.
Well, would you repeat the last part of that question? Hey, it's Ricky. So it is. Did you know about this? Uh, Harriet. Uh, she's down at the woman's club. Oh. What does the formula H2O stand for? Water. Oh, thanks, Pop. Water. <laughs> you have just reached the second plateau. Thank you. And I owe it all to that grand old gentleman, my father. <laughs> Where's this coming from, Dave? And don't tell me the zoo. Uh, it's coming from our basement. Joey Randolph's got a television camera down there. Gee. Just made one mistake, though. What's that? Well, they should have used a more recent picture of me. <laughs> A good likeness, though. <laughs> this is the wonder of the age, ladies. This little miracle slicer will slice cucumbers, carrots, celery, <laughs> fingers. We have to have that on, Pop. Now, with each and every miracle. Well, you don't want to hurt the kids' feelings. Well, how are they going to know? I'll tell them. What do you spy or something? I just want to check the reception. No, I'll get it. Hello. Oh, hi, dear. Oh, hi. Uh, uh, would you turn the television set down as your mother? Uh, uh, where are you? Well, I'm still at the women's club. It's going to be a long meeting, and I was wondering if you were getting hungry. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, you know me. I've been hungry for about an hour. Oh, that's a shame. Well, the meeting's still on. I hate to suggest this, but why don't you and the boys go out and get something to eat? Oh, okay. We'll stop over at the, the drugstore again. Oh, this is the last week of these darned elections, thank goodness. Yeah, well, uh, okay, I'll see you. Bye. Uh, bye. Thanks. Good evening, Mr. Nelson. Good evening. Hi, Joe. Do you mind if I join you for dinner? No, sit down. No, I was glad to have you. It's on the menu. Oh, a lot of things, but most of them are crossed out, so you'll probably end up eating a cheese sandwich again tonight. How'd you get there? Well, that's what I ordered. Looks like cheese. Well, I guess it must be. <laughs> what do you have, Mr. Nelson? Oh, I guess I'll have a cheese sandwich again. That's what I figured, so I saved you an outside cut. <laughs> no more straight men. Where are the boys? Well, uh, they're eating dinner at the drive-in uh, with your son. Oh, I gotta tell you about my boy, Joe. You know what he built? Oh, oh uh, yeah, I, I just saw it. Gee, it's great. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, and it works beautifully, too. Wait a minute. Uh, are we talking about the same thing, the television camera? Yeah. Gee, uh, kids can do anything nowadays, can't they? Uh, anything except get their mothers to come home and cook dinner. Uh, how long do you think that thing's going to last at the women's club? Well, well, according to Clara, just to the end of the week. No. No, it can't be. Oh, hi, Fred. That's right, Fred Edwards. You're Joe Randolph, aren't you? That's right. And this is uh, not... No, don't tell me. Ozzy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I could never forget a name like Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy Dipple. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> oh, sure. Sit down, Fred. Join us. Okay. Say, hey, how long has it been since we've seen you? Hey, it must be at least five years. Closer to ten. It's uh, closer to twenty, but what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been in town? Oh, a couple of days. You know, uh, I'd have thought both of you guys would have been married by now. We are? We are. Well, then, how come you're eating dinner here? Oh, well, this isn't a, a regular procedure, although it has been this week. So this is election week at the women's club, and the wives are kind of busy. Here's your cheese sandwich, Mr. Nelson. Fred was a little stale, so I toasted it. <laughs> what are you doing here? I came in to eat dinner. Well, what are you laughing at us for? Well, I'm not married. I eat out all the time. But uh, being single has its compensations. So uh, you guys are hooked, huh? What do you mean, hooked? We're both happily married and have nice families. <laughs> okay, I'm not knocking it. It's just that it isn't for me. Uh, tell them what your boy just did, Joe. <laughs> it really isn't anything. Well, sure it is. Tell them. Well, he built a television camera. No kidding. How old is he? 45? <laughs> 17. Uh, who are you trying to kid? He, he did. I saw it, and it works. It works great, too. Please, Ozzy, I believe you're happily married. I'm talking about Joe's son. Yeah, okay, he's happily married, too. <laughs> he, well, he built a, a television camera. Yeah, Joe did? <laughs> no, my son did. And if you don't believe me, we'll arrange for you to see it. I'd love to. When can I come over for dinner? Well, tonight. Hey, uh, will you wrap up another cheese sandwich, please? <laughs> 
What did I tell you? Terrific, isn't it? Hey, it certainly is. What are you laughing at? I was just thinking. What would happen if your wives came home and turned on the television set upstairs, and there you were? Oh, what do you mean, there we were where? In a nightclub, dancing with a couple of blondes. <laughs> <laughs> well, even if they saw it on television? No, no, they'd never believe it. Even if they saw it on television? <laughs> Now, wait a minute, let me get this straight. You mean we'd make believe this was a nightclub and then photograph it, and the wives would think we were actually in a nightclub? Yeah. Yeah, can't you just see their faces? <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing, it'd give them a darn good scare. Yeah, it'd teach them to come home and get our dinners instead of neglecting us the way they've been doing the last week. It's a great idea, isn't it? No, oh, but it, no, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's the craziest thing I ever heard of. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on in. The fun has just begun. It's home movie time at the Jacksons. And they're about to enjoy full color, action packed movies all their own. Just think of it movies of your own family, whenever you like, as often as you like on your own movie projector. It's fun the whole family will enjoy together over and over again. If you've put off getting your own projector, here's good news. For less than $7 down, you can own this Kodak Brownie 300 movie projector and show big, bright movies in your own living room with this wide-angle lens. It's easy to thread, never needs lubricating. And it has this single fingertip control. You can even reverse the action for crowd-pleasing comedy effects. Or stop the film completely to enjoy a special scene. Complete with built-in carrying case and preview screen, the Brownie 300 movie projector costs only $64.95 or as little as $7 down. And because it's made by Kodak, you know it's good. <laughs> Do it. There's a tablecloth, Bob. Well, that's one of your mother's good tablecloths, isn't it, Dave? Oh, it's supposed to be a swanky restaurant. Where do you want the camera, Pop? Right about here? Yeah, that's about. No, no. Uh, better move it over here, Rick. We don't want to get the furnace in. We'll need something behind the table. How about this? Hey, that's great. Uh, where'd you get that? From the hall. You mean from the hall in your house? No, the Elks Hall. I picked it up last week during the scavenger hunt. Oh, good for you. Now we need a little nightclub background atmosphere. Oh, I got some of that right here. <laughs> hey, it's all right, Rick. Uh, how about some music? I got Rick's record player back here. What kind of music do you want? Oh, just a little dance music, Dave. Oh, uh, would you mind bringing that big candle over here, please, Fred? And uh, do you have a match? Will you light it? No, no, Dave, we need some dance music. Oh, this is dance music, Pop. That's good rock and roll. Well, I, I, I know, but we want something a little more romantic to, to uh, fit a, a nightclub. Now, what about some girls? Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> Well, you want atmosphere. Well, yeah, but you don't have to see all the atmosphere. After all, our wives are going to be watching this. We just want to worry them. We don't want them serving subpoenas on us. <laughs> is your time. Your time. Hey, Rudy Valley. Oh, no, that's a home recording of Pop doing his imitation of... <laughs> I thought I broke that years ago. No, don't you remember? You broke the real record. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's right. Do you want to take that off there, Dave? Hey, how about people in this nightclub? You want me to go upstairs and put on my tuxedo and kind of weave through the scene a couple of times? Oh, no, that won't be necessary. It's just going to be kind of an interview-type show. Uh, Mr. Randolph and I will be seated at a table. Hey, does anybody need any makeup? No, not me. Dad, you could sure use some. You look awful pale under these lights. Oh, here you go, Mr. Randolph. Some mom's lipstick. Oh, thanks, Rick. Oh, this is silly. What if I am a little pale? That way your mother will know it's me. <laughs> hey, when do we go on the air? Uh, just as soon as your mother gets back home. How do you know Mrs. Randolph's going to be with her? Oh, well, she always stops by for a cup of coffee. Hey, wait a minute. Here comes the car now. Dave, you got my coat? Thank you, son. Don't you think we should have had a rehearsal first? We don't have time for that now. Dave, go upstairs and turn on the television set and make sure your mother and Mrs. Randolph are looking at it. Okay, Pop. Come sit down, Joe. I don't think I can go through with this, Oz. I'm nervous. Silly, what are you nervous about? 
Well, this is the first time I've ever been on television. So! <laughs> Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Miss Randolph. Hi, Dad. Hello, David. I'll make some coffee. Oh, let me do that for you, Mom. Why don't you come in the den and relax? Watch television. A lot of good shows on tonight. Oh. Just sit right in the big chair, Miss Randolph. Thank you, David. I'll turn the set on for you. We have a loose connection. That's what Joe said to me the other day. About the television, that is. <laughs> oh, isn't he nice? Good evening, ladies, and whatever you brought with you. Oh, but he's funny. Here we are at the beautiful club, um, Zsa Zsa. Uh, they keep the lights so dark here, it's hard to know where I'm working. Should I try to get something else? Oh, no, he's funny, Harriet. Amidst this lush, tropical setting, we have many world-famous visitors, and we're going to interview a few of them right now. I wonder if Lowell Thomas is there. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, may I ask your names, please? Why, it's Joe and Ozzie. Uh, my name is Joe Nelson, and this is my friend, Ozzie Randolph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like them, but they have different names. I suppose you gentlemen are out on the town tonight? Uh, yes, we're batching it, you might say. What does that mean? It means they're in for a lot of trouble. Uh, may I ask, uh, how did you hear about our club? Well, uh, my sister, Harriet, told me about it. Sister? Uh, does she come down here very often? Well, that's uh, difficult to say. I haven't seen her in quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't let it worry you, honey. They've just probably had too much to drink. <laughs> That. Oh, thank you, waiter. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Well, I want to thank you, fellas, for being such good sports, and now we have a little surprise for you. You're each entitled to a free dance with one of our gorgeous showgirls. <laughs> Say, she, uh, that, that's a big surprise. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll take the blonde. I think I'll take the red hair. Well, that's a fine thing. When I had my hair red, he said he didn't like it. <laughs> oh, the station's gone off, Harriet. Grab your foot. Is the camera off, Joe? Yeah. Grab the table. a good dancer. I wonder how he's going to like dancing with a broken leg. <laughs> Girls, I think we've worried you enough. We're not at a nightclub at all. We're right downstairs in the Nelson basement with a special television set. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to introduce the rest of the cast. Uh, Mr. Fred Edwards, whom you haven't seen for a good number of years. And of course, our good friend, Joe Randolph, who played the part of Joe Nelson. <laughs> On the other side of camera, we had Joe Randolph, Jr., and we were ably assisted by David Nelson and Ricky Nelson. We'll see you in just a moment, girls. <laughs> A uh, day? Uh, your mother isn't in there. Uh, are you sure they came home? Well, I'm positive, Pop. I turned on the TV set for them. Well, then they must have seen the show. Wait a minute. Do you think it's possible they could have switched the set off before we got in the explanation? Oh, that's a horrible thought. Hey, Pop. Somebody's been using this phone book. Hey, let me see that, Rick. What's well, open to nightclubs? One of them circled with a pencil. Club Zsa Zsa. <laughs> now, wait a minute. That's 
where we were. That I, uh, where we were making believe. Uh, Fred, uh, uh, where did you get the name Club Jaja from? Yeah, well, from the Club Jaja. I go there once in a while, and it's the first name that came into my mind. Oh, well, that's great. Now the wives will think we were really there. How are we going to explain this? Yeah, well, don't look at me, fellas. A bachelor never has to explain anything. <laughs> Probably the police, wondering what all the shouting's about. Oh, <laughs> good evening. Excuse me, is Fred here? Oh, uh, Dolores! Oh, Freddy, I'm glad I caught up with you. Uh, the man at the drugstore said I might find you here. Did you forget about our date? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, but I'll make it up to you. Oh, uh, Dolores, uh, Ozzy Dipple. No, that's... Uh, <laughs> uh, Nelson. How do you do? Uh, uh, Joe Randolph, Dolores. Oh. Well, uh, so long, fellas. I'll give you a call in a couple of days. Oh. Nice to have met you. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, that's, uh, that's great. The whole thing is his idea, and he, he leaves us holding the bag. Well, what do we do now? Well, we'll just have to go over the club, Zsa and explain to the wives exactly what happened. Yeah, I guess you're right. Go ahead, you first. <laughs> See them? No, do you? I guess they didn't come down here after all. Maybe they're over at your house. Oh, hi! Oh, I see you're leaving. Oh, Clara, no, we're not leaving. You. I didn't think so. You seem to be having such a good time. Well, it's just the whole thing is a mistake, a big fake. You're not kidding, <laughs> both of you. Oh, for goodness sake, will you listen? Look at this, some girl's lipstick. Oh, oh. It's not some girl's lipstick, it's mine. It, it's his. <laughs> We weren't on television. You were too. We saw you. No, no, Why but, 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 but some television equipment coming through. No, no, it's not television. Nice show, boys. See you tomorrow night. Uh, it was a very educational program. Thank you. Hear the explanation of this. You're going to die laughing. Oh. Let's see. The whole thing was done from right down the basement here. Uh, no, no, no where, where's the television camera? What happened to the table? <laughs> See, uh, the table was, we were seated at the table. Uh, you heard those glasses? Well, uh, Dave had those uh, water glasses. The television camera was over Come here. Come on home, Joe. Goodbye. <laughs> Clara, honey. Clara, honey. Uh, uh, Harry, this is ridiculous. I tell you, we put on the television show from right down here. Well, I believe you, dear. <laughs> well, then why didn't you say so? You can trust me after all these years. Well, of course I trust you. Besides, the last time I saw this, it was up in the attic. Oh. <laughs> Not only that, I saw the boys working on the television camera this afternoon. Well, then uh, what's the idea of worrying me like this? Well, I have to have a little fun, too. Besides, I just happen to remember. <laughs> So uh, then we came up here expecting to find you girls laughing, and you weren't here at all. I believe you did. <laughs> no, uh, Rick, uh, uh, don't turn on the television set. Huh? We've had enough television for one night. Well, we have it hooked up over at the Randolph's house. We want to see if it works that far. Let me just try it once. Cut it out, Claire. You almost hit me. <laughs> You know, home movies are a family affair at our house. We all like to watch them, and we all like to take them. 
David and Ricky often borrow my brownie turret movie camera because it gives their movies a real professional touch. It takes three kinds of movie scenes and you don't have to move a step. You set the scene with a wide angle lens like this, then flip to a closer shot, to follow the action like this, then you turn the turret again for a telephoto close-up of distant objects. Right now is a fine time to make your family movie stars. And this turret camera is a fine way to do it. A brownie turret movie camera like Ozzy's costs only $59.50. Many Kodak dealers offer a liberal trade-in on your present camera and easy terms on the balance. Hey, Mom, Pop, Ricky's on television. He's from down in the basement? No, he's really on television. by Eastman Kodak Company. When you choose your new camera, make sure it has the one feature that means most of all, your guarantee of quality, the world-famous name Kodak. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation. <laughs>